everyone greetings from kmc hospital ambedkar circle mangalore this is breast awareness month and uh, we'll have a very brief topic uh, that's uh, breast cancer awareness breast cancer has become quite common among uh, women these days but it's a very much addressable issue it's a, a superficial cancer which can be detected easily and can be managed easily when detected early so uh, we'll speak very briefly about it to know as a social awareness how to deal about it and uh, what to do about it so uh, cancer numbers are increasing and in the 20 years this is going to increase by more than 50% so that is why we are having more and more awareness in a developed society, one in eight women can uh, suffer from uh, breast cancer throughout through her lifetime. Uh, but in India, the situation is slightly better, uh, uh, where uh, the suffering is one in twenty-five. Uh, but on uh, as the Indian population is very huge, we are addressing a bigger uh, problem. Uh, or a bigger number uh, to be precise so that's why we have every four minute an Indian woman is uh, diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, every 13 minutes a woman dies of breast cancer that's the magnanimity of this problem so we have a very common problem uh, common issue and a common problem to face so what causes breast cancer it's a balance between the environmental factor and a host factor so the host factor comprises the immunity and environmental factor is the is the insult to the human immunity so that is a reason behind uh, this cancer so that is why we have to speak on how to prevent cancer that is like improve your lifestyle uh, improve and better your body mass index uh, improve the exercise uh, increase uh, fruits or antioxidant in your diet so that's the way uh, forward so when we are speaking about breast cancer, we should also speak about the other benign issues. So actually when it's any lump in a woman, it's not actually breast cancer. But we have to other problems that's like benign problems like uh, uh, ANDI, that is like aberration in normal development on involution. Actually what happens is like uh, because of the continuous uh, hormonal change, there can be differences in the tissue development and involution. So that's why in a young woman, the chances of benign fibroadenomas are more in the middle-aged woman the chances of fibroadenosis are more but the age increases the chances of cancer also increases the main thing in a breast tumor is to rule out malignancy so how does this uh, tumors present so one of the common or like danger signs faced by patient is uh, nipple discharge so any blood in the nipple please uh, uh, go to your nearest doctor or your family doctor and uh, uh, share your issues then one of the most common problem is the which is easily uh, missed is the lump in the breast so there will be a painless lump L lump is a swelling so people have this wrong uh, thought that cancer is very painful but actually to start with cancer is not very painful in stage one or two it can it need not be painful so don't uh, wait for a cancer to become or a tumor to become painful so pick up an early lump and present to your cancer uh, doctor as soon as possible. Retraction, that's a recent retraction of nipple. When the nipple retracted recently, that's an another indirect evidence for cancer. So uh, those are the early cancer uh, issues. But as the uh, days goes by, as it progresses, what happens is there will be ulcer and there can be edema in the breast. So this ulcer and edema in the breast, so that can cause further problems. So it is better to treat the patient early. When the patient is treated early, the results are also better. So in stage 1 or 2, the 5-year survival is as high as 90 to 95 percent. In stage 4, in stage 3 and 4, the results are or the 5-year survival is as low as 30 to 50 percent. The science has advanced. What was very radical, if you ask a century ago, any tumor in the breast has to, had to be operated and the surgery was very morbid a large tissue has to be removed and it would cause a morbid issue or a morbid scar to the patient but as we have progressed it has become more and more sensitive we have reduced the radicality of surgery increase the survival of the patient by adding chemotherapy increase the survival also we have added the cosmetic effect we are doing uh, breast conservations so that is only tumor is removed now nowadays we don't remove the whole breast we remove only the tumor and we add the cosmetic effect to it so we try to get back the shape and contour of the breast so this is possible only when the tumors are picked up in a stage one or two 
so that's what you are seeing here so like uh, a tumor which is done uh, properly we are uh, we have operated only the uh, uh, only the tumor so uh, and uh, we have added sentinel node uh, biopsy that is like we nowadays we are picking up, we are not removing all the lymph nodes uh, en masse but we choose uh, we choose on, on a patient whether that patient needs a complete lymph node dissection or only a single lymph node uh, testing and if it is negative we don't do further axillary dissection so that that is a way we reduce the chances of the morbidity that is the reduce the chances of lymph edema so after uh, breast conservation excellent result we can almost retain the shape of the breast so this is one more conservation it was in a tumor was in a little difficult situation or a difficult position but we have done a very good cosmetic uh, uh, effect so one more aspect uh, when we are speaking about breast cancer what we have to speak is the screening screening means to pick up the breast cancer early that is in stage 1 and 2 so how do we screen we ask for a screening mammogram so we request all those uh, uh, patients who are above 40 to undergo annual mammogram so annual mammogram can pick up cancers as early as stage 1 or stage 2 by showing indirect evidence so this is how the mammogram is done uh, myths and facts about cancer so like always uh, see like we have people thinking that once a cancer it runs through the genetic it's not always so uh, it is as low as 3 to 5 percent with the cancers which run in genes. So don't have that thought. And one more thing is like cancer is not curable. It's not so. I keep repeating that don't have this nihilistic approach. Uh, in uh, stage 1 and 2 actually uh, we can uh, have a survival as high as 90 to 95 percent. That's almost like having a cure. So uh, no cure is, is a very wrong thought and a wrong idea. So how to prevent cancer I already told maintain a very health, healthy lifestyle healthy food habits exercise regularly maintain a very average body mass index that's the way out. So how do we treat cancer breast cancer the most important modality of treatment is definitely surgery but we have also to time the surgery. So sometimes patients do well or the scientifically the prognosis is better when we give chemotherapy and then operate and sometimes after surgery we need chemotherapy and radiation so that depends on the patient's type of uh, cancer and also the type of immune markers that's how we decide on the further treatment so it's not that all cancers are same we treat patients on an individual basis so to conclude breast cancer is a superficial disease and screen detectable cancer and all attempts have to be made to detect cancer and treat better so complete workup with core needle biopsies to be done so before uh, concluding whether things uh, the tumor is benign or uh, malignant we have to do a core cut biopsy and prove the cancer and also the type of cancer uh, then all attempts have to be made to increase the chances of breast conservation so nowadays we have reduced the chances of uh, MRM we are doing more and more breast conservation we are cosmetically preserving the breast so that has to come as an awareness to the people so don't be scared to go to a doctor and get treated as early as possible so always get treated with a very good scientific approach then the patient's survival will be better and the patients do better thank you